How do you deal with the fear of being alone or ending up alone and never meeting anyone? Part two. Go check out part one. You this gave Kathy told a very nice story about baby elephants. Um, this is Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. And this is Kathy Vartuli from uh, the IntimacyDojo.com, a.k.a. Free the Baby Elephants. <laughs> um, so my advice, because we didn't want that other video to get super long, um, I think if, if you reframe aloneness, like I can, I, oh, I feel alone, which is my body or my psyche telling me I maybe need people time is very different than I will end up alone, like, what's his name, on Castaway, the island, oh. with Wilson, the, the volleyball, right? The idea of that you will turn into Tom Hanks, be stranded, um, and forever alone, and slowly go mad. The easiest way, I think, to fix that, and this is not, this is easy, but might take a little bit of effort, Right, because I'm a you know super extrovert nerd, and you know some people are shy, and, and some people um, have life situations where it's hard for them to get out. But if you stay in the house or stay on your little island, which I did for a long time, then no one can find you. And so I would invite people to find things that they're excited and passionate about, and then go find a meetup, meetup.com, um, or Google around on Facebook. Uh, uh, search around on Facebook, Google some, some situations where people who are into the things that you're into gather. Ideally, pick something you're so excited about that it will help you get over your shyness or your awkwardness. And at least then, that is a great baby steps. No, we're back to the baby elephant. <laughs> the baby steps for um, realizing you are not alone. Because I am actually quite insecure and felt like a complete nerd and freak and that nobody was out there. There was nobody of my species um, and I found the sex geek community and these are my people. Um, so when you find your people, all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's not like it's not just me. I'm not the only one. And I think that is the, the beginnings of you tapping one into your passion and finding people who are also passionate about it. That would be my first well, wave of plus advice. Plus, when you're really excited about stuff, you're going to attract people that are engaged with that. And so have fun and be yourself. Yeah. So I would say quick advice in under three minutes. Check out meetups for things that you're really passionate about. So passionate that you're, of course, you're going to get out of the house or find a way to get out of the house or wherever you live and go meet some like-minded folk who see you and understand why you're so into the thing that you're into. And then as far as dating, well, we'll give you some dating advice, but later, leave some comments. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. And please subscribe to this channel there. If you'd like to see more of you, Reed and Kathy, there's more videos there. I can see them. Why are they there? <laughs>